Hi, this is Dan from Clockwork Sport. Today I'm going to show you how to add Finish Links hotkeys for DNF, DNS, Valid, and Scratch to our track consoles or any of our X key products. I've already removed the blockers. It comes with the row of blockers across there. And I've already removed three. We're going to remove the fourth one here. Uh, you got a key puller with your unit, and any of our X key units comes with the key puller. And you can get that behind the blocker and take that out. And then we've removed the plunger when we installed these. So now that the blocker's out, I'm going to need that plunger back in. So I'm putting that into a needle nose plier, pliers and getting that at an angle so I can line up the guides. And hopefully that'll pop right in. Perfect. And I've already labeled my key. Um, we've got valid scratch DNS, and then I've done DNF. Uh, with our, our blank legends, and then I highlighted it blue to match our finish links. We can just push that right on there, and then uh, we'll go to programming that. All right, once you've started our MacroWorks software, you can see I already have these three keys programmed in. I'm going to demo it on the fourth key here. Um, again, we had that row of blockers in at purchase. I'm going to right-click on the key we want to program and remove that blocker now in our software. And then to program this key, we can either double click the key here or press the key on our keyboard. That'll bring up our programming screen here. What we're going to do first uh, for the functions that we want to program is we're going to show functions and we're going to look for the mouse listing. And under mouse buttons here, we're going to add a mouse right down followed by a mouse right up. And we've separated, we've done some testing here, and we would want those separated. Now, for the key that we're programming, which is a DNF, I'm going to come down here to the release event. We're going to separate these actions here. And the DNF within finish links, we can reach with that right click, get the keystrokes. We're going to type in an S and then two Ds to get to the DNF and then an Enter. Uh, we've got those keystrokes in. We're going to hit save. And then because this is in what's called hardware mode, uh, we do want to write to the device. That's going to save all of these shortcuts to the device. We don't have to run macro works on any of your other timing computers. You can just transfer this or order more. Um, and they just plug right in and they're ready to go. So once we've written to memory, we're going to go ahead and close out macro works and then go ahead and open up Finish Links. Okay, we've opened Finish Links with the Boys 3000 demo. I'm just going to single click on an athlete here. I don't want to double click. I don't want to go into edit mode on that line. I just want to choose my athlete in question. And then on our keypad, we can just press and release. And now we see that we have scratched. We can DNF, DNS, whatever we want to do to that athlete. And of course, when we get bad information from our from our officials or our clerk and Jacob here was actually in the race we can go back and hit our valid key and put him back in okay finish links does not currently support keyboard shortcuts in here what we've done with our console is starting with the right click add it in the keystrokes and combine those together so we can just Choose our athlete, and then with one push of the button, we're doing the right click and sending in those codes to scratch or whatever we want to do to that athlete. Let's review the programming for these four keys. Back in MacroWorks here, here's the four that we've added. Let's look at our first one, the valid key. And we got a mouse right down and right up in the press event, and then S and V in the release event. S opens up the status menu, and then V is the valid option. There's only one V on that list, so we don't need an enter there. Let's go to our second key, which is the scratch. And again, the mouse right down, right up. And then down in our release event, we've got that first S to open up status, and there's only one S option on that second menu for scratch, so we don't need enter. Our third key is the DNS in our example. And we've got the right down, right up again. We're going to have that in all four. And then S opens up status. And uh, our DNS is the first option. So on our first press of the D, it will go to that. 
there's two more D options on there, so we're going to need that enter on there, and we've got that in there. And we'll show you that on our next key, which is our DNF. Again, the right down, right up. And then because the DNF is the second D option, S opens up status, and we've got to go D twice to get down to DNF and then push the enter key. Let's go back into finish links, and we can review some of the other options that are under that status. Again, there's our valid, no other Vs. We have three D options here, so that's why we have to put that enter key in. If we wanted to do false start, we just put in SF. Same for advanced here, SA would be the programming for that. So you have all seven at your disposal. We've programmed four in this demonstration, uh, but you can see how with our X keys, if we wanted to change the precision, we would put a P in to start after that right down, right up. And then we could choose our options accordingly there as well. So lots of flexibility here with these X keys um, and our track consoles. Um, hopefully this is gonna be a help for you. Okay, Finish Links does not currently support keyboard shortcuts in here. What we've done with our, with our console is starting with the right click, add it in the keystrokes and combine those together so we can just choose our athlete and then with one push of the button, we're doing the right click and sending in those codes to scratch or whatever we wanna to do to that athlete.